I feel like I'm still waking up and it's like 9, 9.30 right now. Um, Derek got up at like 7 because he has to go to Gen Con office hours and work a little bit. But I decided to sleep in a little bit because I was up to like 3 or 4 a.m. editing that video. But now, but now I'm awake. Scrapture. Scrapture. So like scripture, but rapture. Yeah. Got it. Uh, like, yeah, like scrap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Scripture, rapture, all yep. mashed together. Yep. Set in the far future, mm -hmm. uh, events have occurred, and there's no longer a record of our time. However, people are starting to dig up relics, okay. and of course, building cults around these relics. Uh -huh. uh, so you'll find things like a monument map, a second skull, uh -huh. right. uh, yep. so on and so forth. Uh, you're trying to get these relics into your shrines in order to catch them in and gain influence for doing so. Uh, the way that you do that is by gaining followers. You're going to start the game with five. They're going to be in your seminary. You're not going to look at this, but you're going to draw your actions from the top of it. All right, so at the beginning of each round, you're going to flip over the top three followers of us. your seminary. Yep. Okay. And these are your actions for the round. Each turn, you're going to play one card, and then we're going to keep going around like that. There's two things you can do with the followers. You can put them into a shrine, and that's your engine for getting more followers. Each shrine is a little bit different. Bell Tower, you just want one in there because you get two. Uh, scripture Fountains, that lets you tune a little bit if you're looking for a particular action um, or just get more followers that way. Stadium is a little bit set collection. So, um, for example, you have the two traders here. So the first trader will be one, and the next will be two. Unpub here at Origins and First Exposure Playtest Hall at Gen Con are ways for you to um, attend an event and play games and play games that are completely brand new. Most aren't even on the market. Most aren't on the market. Most aren't published yet, hence Unpub. And the gamer, game designers are there to demo and teach you the game and then you play it and then you give them feedback. And you can have a direct influence on the design of the game. You're like, this didn't work, this worked, I don't understand this rule. All sorts of different things. It's really neat. Um, so we had a fun scratcher. It's a really good game. We had a bunch of feedback for her. And uh, you should try those events out at Gen Con or Origins. Other hand soda, so you always have clean hands. Uh, second question: uh, Since this is the last day, what is the best thing you did this convention? 
True Dungeon. I worked for True Dungeon. It's my eighth year volunteering. Right. It's, True Dungeon's the best. But did you run through it? I did. My first run this year. So uh, Thursday morning, they finally got me to run. Very cool. Uh, are you going to be at Gen Con? I will be at Gen Con. With TD? With True Dungeon. Next. Nice. Every see night. You. See you there. Come see us. Which one? Out of the three airports that we will be at today. Columbus. That's it. Gen Con, Origin Con. Origins is over. Yep, Origins is done. We're tired. Yep. I'm tired. Yep. You? Yep. Very tired. Mm -hmm. It was six days, five days of which were con. Right? Mm -hmm. Too many five days. Five full days. Five. Well, not yet. Full Mostly days. full days. Um, how did you find your show? How was your show, Derek? Well, being sick for the first two days kind of sucked. So that was not the best. So, other than that, we played some games. Uh, the LARP I played was fun. Uh, the two RPGs uh, that I don't usually get a chance to play. Those were neat. It was nice to just kind of have the, them in action, basically. And then I had lots of meetings and got a lot of work done. Yeah, so this is a this is really a working show for you. Yeah. Did you kind of achieve the things you wanted to achieve? Did you get a lot of Mostly. meetings done? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got. It was important to talk to people, um, just because the opportunity to talk in person is always better than just over email or the phone. It's a lot easier to kind of go through some stuff and get people comfortable and a little more prepared for their Gen Con time. But you know, there's never time to meet up with everybody, unfortunately. <sighs> Good. What would you say your favorite thing? Your one thing? This is the thing that it's I enjoyed the hardest. Just one thing that got me thinking. It's you. You're the one thing. No, I can't be the thing. Why not? That's a new rule. Since when? Pick another thing. The second other thing. Uh, I think the alien game that I ran was fun. Actually, that was probably one of my highlights too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the alien game was a really fun game with lots of fun people. Mm -hmm. And uh, if people want to get the alien game, can they still do that? Yeah, uh, I, I believe so. I think the pre order is up through Gen Con or something like that. What do they look for? I think it's like alienrpg.com. I mean, if you search it, it should be pretty evident. It feels a lot like playing the game, feels a lot like watching the movie. Yeah. So, I think. I, I really liked it. It was really fun. I had a wonderful GM, and I highly recommend him. I like it when his mouth disappears into his mustache. It happens both when he's mad and happy. It's the cutest. Look at that little mustache. It looks like a little well -packed. Finally, I think I'm something's happening. 
Um, kitties are cute. Um, yeah, so our flight ended up being like two to three hours late and then when we finally they tried to rush everything and try and get us on the plane early and then try to fly with the wind and they fueled the plane extra so they could fly extra fast but then we were also stuck on the runway for an extra hour or so because there was some like fuel valve pump thing that was malfunctioning and they had to go figure that out but i think we ended up like landing around three-ish and getting home around four-ish so we're just tired but you don't really care about travel things so origins was wonderful i had a really really great time this is probably one of the best most well executed origins that i've been to um everything looks great the dealer hall the dealer hall was great um the let me think oh getting our tickets and our badges and all of that um was really really quick um usually there's like issues with that and we were there in the morning and we got our stuff within seconds pretty much um all the events i went to fired and uh, most of them were fun i really had a great time i did a lot of friend shipping um you know some of the things that made it not so great and you know some of them are not origins fault whatsoever like one of them was that i only knew so many people this year at this show to hang out with and it's such a long show it's five <laughs> it's what they say is five full days of gaming and the show itself i don't feel i can sustain five full days by itself um i didn't have enough friends to fill and pad the time out with um, at the show so for me five days was a little long i think three would have been really great um and then the other thing that that was frustrating was the length of the line for to get tickets for anything and the fact that we couldn't check what was full and sold out and what had tickets available um, until we got there on site as well as the fact that you can't buy generics with anything other than cash hey babe uh, they changed that eventually Oh, they changed it on site? Yeah. That's a really good idea, so that's I'm glad they did that. Um, any feedback? No. Did you have a good show? Sure. Anyway, it is now like four, I don't know what time. Too late. It's too late. Thank you for everybody who said hi. Thanks for everybody who's watching. If you have questions, let me know. I will hopefully see all of you at Gen Con. Bye.